That's the wrong angle. Are we live? All right. Hi, everybody. Are you upset? About? That everybody just saw you? Yeah, pretty much. That all your... Yeah. Your stuff? Looking all ghetto. Your facial improvements? Are we live? Who's there? Oh, there we go. So how is the volume with my new microphone? Oh, Angel oops. and me both have a microphone. I covered mine, so it might have been a little staticky. A little muffled. Yes. How is it? Let me know, guys. We had a lot of consternation Thanks. before. Consternation? What the hey, hey does that mean? Have you been drinking? So we're gonna we're gonna look through some some bins. So this is uh we're gonna dub this the what Ben's gonna be doing this week segment, and that's kind of what these have turned into. We're essentially going through stuff in the bins that we're gonna set up for Ben. Now, in all fairness, he kind of does have a little bit of stuff here he's working on. So, some junk, some recent trade-ins. Some of this is pretty good stuff. Can everybody hear Mike pretty good? How's the volume? This was a little collection that came in. This whole three piles is mostly like, there's some cool stuff in here. Well, one person said good, so at least we know one person can One person good. can hear. That's better than nobody. Dream Academy. Oh, that's two. Two. All right, there we go. Everyone's saying good. We're all good. So this is, uh, this is what he's going to be processing, but this isn't going to be enough for him to process for the whole week. So we're just going to turn this into a... What Ben's processing, uh, what Ben's going to do for the week. Give Ben more work. Hello. Hi, everybody. So we're going to just pull some boxes. Do we have any idea what we're going to pull? Mm -hmm. What? That one way up there. Okay, I'll hold the camera. Go get it. <laughs> what? No, I'm just joking. No, you don't want that box no, no more? No, it's okay. I got the ladder there. We got the 10-footer. Okay, what box? Why, why is it me letting him meet you in Austin in May? Who is it? Norman. It's 100% her fault. Why? Are you telling, are you telling <laughs> lies about me? Are you going to pick a box? Oh, me? Okay. Just do that one. No, that's a George Benson box. So, we could do a Benson box. I feel like I want to open this one. Open that one, man. Because I can see. What, is, what can I see through it? Ooh, this is, is that Earl Garner? Let's, let me, let's do this box. Okay. It's got, look at that. Ooh. Oh, no, that's a Benson box, too. God, that's got a lot of dust on it. Should we do one Benson box? <clears throat> sure, just try it. All right. One Benson box from the George Benson personal collection slash archive. be good stuff it looks like it's on the whipped side whipped side whipped oh yeah look at that now some of this stuff could be quite good because there's some serious uh the 12 inches have been uh it's nice funk ink oh i label promo oh melted Aww. no that's not melted that's just the worst no fill i've ever seen can you see it yeah God, that's awful. All right. Some Oscar Peterson. Vinyl Me Please did this. This is a promo is copy. Is water damaged? Uh, no water damaged on oh, this. Tatas on that next thing you might want to watch out. Oh, oh, okay. You just show the tatas. Those are cartoon tatas. Does that They're count? They're still tatas. I guess. Hello. Maynard 62. Let's see what George had in this box. There, there was a lot of water damage stuff. Nice white label promo. Leland, you know all about the gloves. We don't have the we don't have the branded gloves yet, Leland. I apologize. How's your camera work? Because people complain about that a lot. What? They always say that you don't film me enough. That you need to get me in the shot more. And you're not filming the records more. You know, I, I get that a lot. I'm just saying. Go away. 
Is that better? See, like this could be some high. This could be some ducats. Leland, let's get a uh, let's get a uh, price check here on Cork Records. This is Blaze. What you gonna do? That's QK dash zero zero one dash A. QK dash zero zero dash one dash A. What? Less mic, more records. So you're lying to me? I they want more records unless you? No, I don't think that's the case. Well, this... Gwen likes the way I record. Who? Gwen. Is that a family member of yours? I don't have anybody named Gwen in my family, I don't think. That I know of. Let's see. So this could be... Oh, see? Like, George's collection was a lot of, like, this kind of stuff. Less mic, more angel. Woot, woot. Victim of a joyride. Includes the hit single. <laughs> a he says. That's a bummer. One of these could be big, big dollars. I see, like, Thanks. I want to look up that. That's a victim of a joyride. SKL-001. Finger zinc. I found. <laughs> he does not. Got a little police action here. Police? Uh, there's a problem here. Uh -oh. Houston, uh, we have a problem. That's the wrong so you one. get it? We've got... Oh. I don't know what we it. got. We've got your music. No, we've got a problem. We've got synchronicity and... Uh, there. So, yeah. Ooh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey. Oh, that's the right record. I thought maybe we can... Rated X Records... Some of this stuff is just. Hello. Somebody's gonna email and be like, "Oh my God, that's the Grail." I'll pull it out of here, and then we'll. Simply red. Night moves. That's not uh, Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band. Ooh, the B fifty two. It's my jam. What is it? It's New Order. Uh, Have you not heard New Order? I'll play you some New Order if you haven't heard it before. Funny, funny. <laughs> I got jokes. Loving Rockets. See, uh... What makes you say it's a slow day at the record store? Was it a slow day at the record store? I wasn't here. I thought it was pretty steady. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Found it. We'll put that aside for uh We're gonna fix that now because there's a good chance Ben would take one record, chuck it, and then take the next record and chuck it. Well very gingerly. Why did Benson have so much junk? You know, he I'm sure he had a big family. I'm sure a lot of these records were partied with. George Benson was not a record collector. Uh, he was a musician who was given an absolute ton of records. And these were tools for him. If you go back to his earlier records, you can definitely see his earliest stuff was just, you know, like it almost like he was like learning a part. There would be certain parts of the record that had Q-burn almost like a DJ, but I kind of felt like, it looked to me like he was almost learning, you know, he was trying to learn that part, or like, you know, how did he do that, or what was he doing? You know, it seemed to me like that. Tough tenors. Oh, that looks... There's some good stuff in here, but you know, this is the kind of... Somebody's going to complain about me sniffing again. Talk, I told talk you, they shit. complain about you all the time. I know. That's why I don't like doing this. I'm going to stop because people are mean to me. Is that what it is? Yeah. That's why I ran away for a while. It's midnight in the ghetto. I always like to check out the records you know that... You makes me mad? I don't know. Global warming? All those Billy Ocean records on the wall? Oh, Miami Vice, look. Do you see it? Huh? There's Don Johnson. Okay, let's move on. That's pre, that's pre the Ferrari Testarossa. So that's like the early. 
want to. I want to. I want to hear about this. Uh, I want to. This could be good. This looks. This looks interesting, right? This could be awful, actually, too. This is an interesting box. People want to get inside the George Benson, you know, record collection. They want to get deep. They want to. They want to see what's going on. So you got to do kind of a deeper dive when it comes to the Benson boxes. This Crusaders is like perfect. Ooh. Oh, I love Stratus. Oh, this is a banger. Oh. What's this? <coughs> Honeycomb. No, I thought that was Reed Ink. I got a, a Reed Ink vibe. That's a high dollar record, but that's not. Let's check out this Billy Cobham. Chicago promo. The Mega Hall 7-inch collection is still in the back room. It is all online, though. But, oh, yes, it's online. Very Except cool. for the couple of choice pieces I kept. Cosmos, Lou Donaldson. Let's check out them blue notes. What collection of this, of the collection, will you be able to sell? What percentage of the collection will you be able to sell? Of what, this? I guess, I don't know. Are we talking about for 17 months? What's Any that? Any mint Julia London from nope. it goes, it goes no, ju no Julia in this. And mint is not. <laughs> oh, this is that rare version of Al Green's Let's Stay Together. See, look. Thi oh my <gasps> god, oh my. Holy cow. <laughs> see, look, it's rare because it's a double pocket. See? Uh, huh? Interesting, yeah. Huh? Funny, funny. See, that was like a short test run. They did that for a little while. Oh, my God. Can you see that? Yes. That is, uh, woo. Mike, if you could wish for one release for Record Store Day this April, what would it be? Tools and Nima. Tools and Nima. Still Rising Records. Leon Love. How's your Leon Love collection? Uh, See, a lot of this kind of stuff was given to them. You know what I mean? I think maybe people were like, hey, check this out, George. Maybe you want to do a, a version of this on your next album. See, like, look at this. Libra, Libra, I like it. This is a private press, you know, something like this. It could be valuable. Interesting box, huh? Mm -hmm. Some sealed Lou Donaldson, sassy mm -hmm. soul strut on blue note. Carmen. What is this? This box has not been opened since I uh, since I zipped it up. Madonna. Hot mix. Christopher Cross, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. Let's just go ahead and put that in the Christopher Cross trash Shake can. It. Cool Modi. How you like me now? Bits into pieces. It's the Dinomite mix. The Dinomita? Mm -hmm. The Dinomita? Mm -hmm. Did you watch that commercial? No. Yes, I did. Okay. Do OG Madonna records sell well? Yeah, Madonna sells. Okay, where are we going? Dun -dun 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 -dun. Well, do you not want me to choose out our Bensons? Don't choose any up there. Okay. Well, what about this one? Is this you just like let the camera go like... <laughs> where are we going? It, is this a Benson? Yes. The ones with the X's on top are. Uh, is this a record? That's all classical. Uh, Nobody wants to see that. What about this? There's maybe one guy that wants is to see that. Is this all classical? Probably. 
let me get a let me get a stool oh you know what just go over there i'm gonna grab some stuff from over here I've got some surprise rando records. This came in in a collection. I've been meaning to add. It's been sitting over there. This guy was a bit of a smoker. But a lot of his records are quite clean. He was a little bit of a smoker, so I aired them out a little bit, you know? Oh boy. It's the knack record nobody bought. Little dust? Mm hmm. Yeah. Nick, have you noticed any changes in viewers slash subscribers with the recent changes in the algorithm? Love these types of streams. Keep them coming. Do I notice any kind of... I didn't know there was any changes, to be honest. Who asked that question? Uh -huh. Saturday records on Discogs. Haven't paid attention to it. How do you get rid of smoke? Some I can never get rid of the smell. No, sometimes you don't. But, you know, Arizona's really good at, because uh, there's no moisture, it's so damn dry. Poster check. Feels kind of heavy. Might be a two-tone. Nope. Mid-70s. Albert King live. Tomato. 12 inch quality product. My finger's cramping. I need some workman's comp. I'm getting hurting on the job. You don't work here. Oh, that's true. All right. You want to find another box? We got these boxes. Let me just get this one. Some of these are that Japanese collection. Yeah. I put so many Japanese records out lately, people are getting confused. Think so. I think they are. They, I think it's like they time warped. I feel like they think they like mysteriously got off and you know opened the door and they've teleported to. Who cares? To Japan. Do it. No, I don't want to. I want to balance the. You got to balance this stuff. So annoying. No, it's a process. You're so annoying. I'm trying to explain to people the they process. They like them. No, I know they like them, but the process of this. The point okay, of this. Be quiet and choose one, please. No, you listen to me. Choose anything. I don't, I'm going to go walk away. The point of. <laughs> would you get I'm over I'm taking all my fans with me, too. Would you get over here? <laughs> the point of this Shut exercise up. is to balance out what goes out into the bins. That's the point okay, of this. Then just choose one. So it People can't be too much you. of the anything. It's not you. I don't care. I'm very insulted. Oh, this is a good box. All right. This is a. Uh, this is a blues box from the Tucson collection. Oh my goodness. Here, hold on, I gotta clear some Those space. Are broken. No broken. The sound effects. All right, let's see what we got here. Now, this is a cool collection. Reverend Gary Davis. Oh, Morris Day. Ooh, I like that. He belongs in the blues box. I feel like. This is nice because it's a promo. This guy had a ton of promos. I don't have this record, but I don't really think I need it either. Some of these Dell marks are so good. I feel like I gotta listen to a couple of these tomorrow. Oh man, look at this. This is a good this is a good blues box. This is the stuff I'm gonna check out. We're gonna look at these. Oh look at this. 
Who's Spider-Man? Don't need that. Jimmy Cliff. That's an early Jimmy Who's Cliff. Oh, 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 oh. This is the this is the pile for me. Ooh, volume three. <laughs> volume two. <laughs> volume one. Oh my god, you're so annoying today. Oh man. I don't really I don't need a lot of Zydeco in my life. That's just me personally. Well, I looked at it. Well, the reason I did that is, oh, the master of the Telecaster. Albert Collins. Mm -hmm. You know, blues are just so... Good blues records are Bongo Joe. God, this could be good. This could be not good. Let's see. Little soul, that's a reissue. Some Club Nuevo. Oh, yep. Promo, George Clinton. I have it. I need to make sure. God, this is really Jimmy Cliff. What is Zydeco? You know, like, uh, I'll play it for you. I don't know. It's like Cajun music, um. but more. You know, it's not really my thing. Okay. You would like it, actually, I think. Really? Yeah. God, do I need that? Oh, man, I don't feel... I'm having thoughts here. It's like, ooh, ooh this is such a good record. i got to have 20 copies of this record. What is this? Boogie and Zydeco. Now, see this. Mike, the new radio show, the order substance is it all analog? No, 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 no. I doubt it. I mean, I don't know for sure, but dollars to donuts, it's not. James Cotton Blues Band. This is a solid little box. Some of these I'm going to have to go back and listen to. Sheik's Greatest Hits. Man, that's not one you see very often. This was, uh, this was, uh, a box of stuff he had. He had, like, multiple boxes towards the end that were kind of just genres he didn't have much of. They were... Various, they were comps, some of the soul. God, I don't know if I've ever heard of these albums. The Gospel of Sam. Oh, this is the biggest red flag to consider it. Okay, biggest red flag to see in a record collection you are considering buying. Red flag, I mean. I guess there's, I don't know. I think on that one. Well, like for instance, a guy came in the store last week oh. <laughs> and he brought me a stack of records. They were all about 70 to $80 a piece and they were all with another store in town's price tags on them. And, you know, that's, that happens. A lot of people, a lot of stores have been in town here for decades. You know, somebody could have started a collection with those and then, you know, moved on. Uh, it's happened. But this was like all freshly type price stuff. The prices were like today's prices. You know, these are records like uh, that 10 years ago, for instance, wouldn't have been worth this much. And the prices were all the same store. And I noticed this other particular store, they put a code in their price tag to show if something was on their Discogs account. That when they way when they sell it, they know to take that record off Discogs so it doesn't sell in the store and on Discogs at a later date. So I'm there go pricing the guy's record. I'm like looking at these. I'm like, what is this? Awfully, hmm. Uh, <laughs> there's like two copies of Miles Davis's "Bitches Brew." It was like all good stuff. It was all like from a higher end part of the store. 
And I go on there because I could tell their little Discogs code and I go online. I'm like, all these records are still on Discogs. So uh, that was a red flag. So. Boy, that was a long story just to get that out. I'm not even done. Oh, boy. So that's a good record here. Just keep flipping and doing it, please. No, nah, I don't want to multitask. Well, because you said only an hour. We gotta We're going to be out of here in an hour. hour. So you're not going to be able to do all your boxes Angel. you're going to want. Angel, we're going to be out of here in an hour. So let me do it at my pace, okay? Is that okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. I'm going to have to take this, too. Anyways, God, you're in a little ornery mood today, huh? I think it's because I'm hungry. I'm going to replace you with Al or, uh, Vivian. Vivian. Okay. You replace me everywhere else. That's o cool. Or we're going to have to uh, like get you a double cheeseburger before this. A double cheeseburger would be nice. I mean, <laughs> this hangriness is really <laughs> not for me. Anyways, <laughs> it was like two cop two. Miles Davis, Bitches Brew, Columbia, Two Eyes. And I'm like, I'm like, I went to him and I'm like, yeah, this isn't the kind of stuff we buy. And he kind of looked at me strange, like, what? But yeah, I'm not going to buy stolen stuff, especially from another store. Nothing agitates me more than somebody stealing my record or anything of mine. It just, it absolutely infuriates me. So I would never do that to another store. That is the most stone mint. Look at that. Bo Diddley and Chuck Berry. That's in the mic pile. <laughs> but. Free Place Angel will stop watching. Appreciate that. Interesting. Bo Diddley's Another Dimension. Did you alert the other store? Oh, yeah, yeah. I called them right away. Right away. What do we got here? I should have filled up my water bottle before we started on the Thursday. You, you did grab your water bottle. You just grabbed an yeah, empty water bottle? Pretty much. Mercy D. On our Huli. Oh, boy, I got a busy day tomorrow of testing and listening to records. It's fun for you, though. Morris Day. Remember when limos were a thing? Yeah, I do. It's nope. crazy to even see them now. That's not a thing anymore. It's not. Like, limos were... I remember going on a homecoming, like, I am getting a limo. I remember I went into a limo once when I was a kid, and I was like, oh, my God, this is the greatest thing I've ever experienced in my whole entire life. Yeah, Best day oh, ever. Oh, boy, this seems like Morris Day is having a good time, too. <laughs> He's got the trifecta there. A lady friend, a private jet, and the limo. What is this? Is this 87? Man, that's an actual album. This is nice. Some more George Clinton for me. This is looking good. Mississippi John Hurt. Is this an OBC? Where do you live that you see limos all the time? Yeah, this is an OBC. OBC 510. The yes. original blues classics. Mm -hmm. Not to be confused with original jazz classics. Or a buying group. Let me see here. Oh, look at this. Mike's pile. Mike's pile. Like, dang it. You got a little, little, little dust. Pee Wee Creighton will go in my pile. Oh, this Robert Creighton. I think I got that. Oh, I think I got that. How much theft do you think you've had from the store over the years, staff included? How much what? Theft. I don't think it's that bad. We're we're cameraed up. We've got time. many, many preventative measures going on. I feel like we only have one employee still from us, right? But they ended up giving it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cajun Swamp Music Live. Boy, this is all the Cajun music on our Huli. Bayou Blues. 
Yes, we do. God, that could be good. I'm going to give this. God, I just can't keep everything. There's like so much in this box I want to keep. I'm almost positive I've got. I think I 100% have to have both of these records. I don't have last sessions, but I've got the Immortal Mississippi John Hurt. Double check. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. Empty cover. Mississippi John Hurt as first recordings. All right, so let's see what else we got. No, Mike has not considered it. Opening another location, it'll be too too much. No, I'm not down for that. Okay, let me move some of these over here. My goal is to try to get stuff for Ben for the week, but this won't take him nearly that long. So, I want, that's his pile. I want to do it this way. He'll have most of this cracked out tomorrow. I want to do this this way because I want to get the Benson stuff on top because this is like the least interesting stuff so far. Put my pile over here. All right, so let's do one of these random boxes because my goal with this is where we're at now is this is the last <laughs> of the stuff on the floor. So a couple of these boxes are going to replace these holes. And then when we fill up on records again. Don't forget to hit the like button, everybody. Ben will uh, nail those CDs. Oh my God. Check these out, guys. I've been just keeping these here forever. They're trashed. No, they're not. What? They're just water damaged. They're but. Trashed. But look at the records. Interesting. Huh. I got better stuff over here. So it's like I just have them sitting here forever waiting for covers. Like Ben was like, I'm going to put that red clay in the bin for $8. And I'm like, uh, no, you're not. Look at that record. <laughs> Let's wait for the time. Look at promo copy, Pharaoh Sanders. Wisdom through music. Look at him. Yes, Ben has been our longest employee. So these are just hanging, waiting for, waiting for better covers. All right. Hopefully this isn't a dud. Is it a dud? don't know if I even want to go through this box. Why? What is it? Yeah, we can go through this box. This looks actually more interesting than I thought it would be. It just looks like it's going to be a bunch of crap, but then I look at it and no, no, it's not. Oh, this is the Tucson collection. I'm going to have to probably pull a... He had the Tucson collection is riddled with promos. Beautiful. Gang of Four. I mean, the Gang of Four is a promo. Can't you buy loose jackets on eBay or Discogs? I mean, you can from time to time, and there might be a point in time where I... But I, if I wait long enough, that'll come in. Uh-oh. They're gone. So that's kind of cool. Now, this I don't have, so I'm going to have to keep this for my copy. It's a promo copy of... Uh, the record, but it actually has the press kit in it. All right. Got to add that press kit. Feel free to back up. Don't put those behind me. I don't really feel like I need that record. Girls band. You familiar with Hotline? No. Hello. <laughs> Too busy. Interesting. 
because this is part of the Tucson collection, but this must have been in a spot of his collection where the covers got a little bit more damage. Gator Creek. It looks interesting. It's on Mercury, though. That's not the best sign. Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, look. Goose Creek Symphony. So Charlie Gearhart, actually, who just recently passed away. I don't, you know, most people aren't going to know that. Goose Creek Symphony, you know the Wild Times? Yeah. I did, the Wild Times record. That was uh, that was done by Richie Hart before he formed Goose Creek Symphony. Goose Creek Symphony had a couple records on Capitol. They had this particular record on Columbia, but the Wild Times was done pre-Goose Creek Symphony. But... When I did the Wild Times, Charlie was living here. I went and I met him, uh, and he passed away, I heard, a couple weeks ago. Oh, All right, here we go. This looks like some, minus the Art Garfunkel. Let's see what we got here. God, that's so clean. Do I need any Jerry Garcia? So, so clean. Ganger 4 Entertainment. I can't believe no one's asking any questions. It's been like five minutes. You probably just need to click the down button. No. Yeah, they're definitely asking questions, I would imagine. Oh, we no. probably have done something. When are all the blues albums hit the bins? <coughs> uh, I mean, Ben is going to be processing this. The stuff that we processed in the last video finally all hit the bin this week. You just blame everything on me when no one's actually writing anything. No, I think it was you. All right, whatever. How do you know it wasn't you? I just want to be your friend today. <laughs> God, oh boy, that just looks good, doesn't it? That's beautiful. That looks like, it's on Epic. Can we get a price check on Gentle Soul, please? Price check, soul. Gentle Soul. Not to be confused with Gentle Giant, which is also good. This is Gentle Soul on Epic. This looks like the Gentle Soul self-titled. This could when be like. Angel gonna do the new release videos like Spin Me Round Records does? Mike would never let me take the spotlight from him. That's He's not what they jealous. were asking. That's not what they were asking. What? I think they just wanted you in a loose fitting top. A loose fitting top? Mm -hmm. Why loose? You mean a cleavage top? Mm -hmm. You can start your own channel. With the new arrival video that's what you should do what? you should film the new arrival video right after me you want to try it and put it on your channel i don't have one just start one up for what the ingroove okay but for what reason we'll see how it does i don't want to see you do the new arrival video i think it'll be great <laughs> okay you don't like that idea? I don't know. I get nervous in front of the camera. Guys, what do you think? I mean, we can put Angel do... I'll, I'll film it. Yeah, give a thumbs up if you think we should do that. No, 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 no thumbs up. No I want to hear up. comments. I want to hear actual comments. <clears throat> like, I'll just leave everything there. I'll film the new arrival and... You can't... It'll be like a, it'll be like a game show. You're not going to be able to hear what I do. So you're going to have to hang out in here with the tunes playing mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think we should do it. Okay, well, if it's dumb, we're not going to post it. You want to do it this week? On Friday? Wait. you got to come in on Wednesday night. Oh, Wednesday night. Do you know what I'll do? I can do it as a members-only video. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> okay. I think this is a great idea. What do they think? No one, only a few people says yes. I think we can do it as Someone a members. Someone said definitely not. No. Oh, apparently they don't like the only, <laughs> the whatever. They don't like the members thing. Members-only. But I didn't want to, you know, if it's not good, I want... See, the members are a more select group of people to where they'll, they'll be nicer. You know what I mean? There's not a lot of bomb throwers. There's no bomb throwers in the members only because it's only a few people. So you don't have to worry about anybody launching any grenades at you. Mm. But if you like it, we can just post it. We can put it on your channel. I'll get all dolled up. Get all dolled up. But you know what? I'll be really disappointed. That might be better than mine. <laughs> Like, ah, shit. God, this is a good box, actually. The, 
covers on these are a little bit of wear. What are we thinking on Gentle Soul? Am I rich? Do I? Don't I don't know if Leland's still here. He hasn't said anything. Somebody's got to be like, oh, Whoopi Goldberg, the original Broadway show recording. What do you I think? I don't think that person has ever been into the store. What person? I don't want to say the name because it might be dumb. I doubt it, but. I don't think so. No, no, that's he's a local artist. One to three hundred, somebody said. Really? Yeah. See, I knew it. What do we got here? Girls can't help it. Baby hey, doll. ladies, how's it going? They're a little on the old side for. Oh. Oh, look, this is autographed by John Martin. Nice. That was so sweet of him, huh? God, John Martin. And he, and he chose such a perfect place to autograph David's record. Mike doesn't play video games. He plays card games. I play board games, strategy games. I like Risk. I got about 15 kinds of Risk. Yes, I know. I play poker. Yes, I know. So there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of uh, Grateful Dead coming up. Oh, joy. This is on Sire. This could be good too. I don't. This doesn't look one to three hundred dollar good, but Georgia satellites. I'm gonna take a picture of that for work and paint it for me. Yeah. Minus the people. Minus the. Maybe you can put us in there. What do you think? <laughs> I don't this, know if she can draw people. This looks interesting, actually. <clears throat> Davy Graham. It's on London. He's wearing, uh, yeah, this looks interesting. Put that over there, and the, I want to look at that pile. The Gospel, Wesley Gore, it's my party, Robert. A lot of Robert Gore, like, what is this? Oh, your back. it's Goose Creek Symphony. Oh, okay. So this is going to be all the Goose Creek. So this is their, uh, their biggest album, their Capitol stuff. Their first couple of Capitol albums were their biggest. Welcome to Goose Creek. And, uh, God, this is like, this is like private press, Goose Creek. Have you seen the mini wall of sound? No. No. Negative. Ooh, kaleidoscope. Yeah, More Goose Creek? All right, let's check. Five to 100 for Davy Graham. How much? Five to 50 one. Fifty to one hundred. Sorry. Oh, I was gonna say five to one hundred. That's I a think little. I did say that. That's a little bit of a, a spread there. So sad. So sad. Wake of the flood. I'll tell you, some of these are gonna go in the next whatnot first pressing auction if I do one of those again. This is such clean. Some of the stuff. So clean. Oh my god, that's perfect record. You know what's crazy? I don't think this guy listened to these records. You know what's crazy? crazy? What? There's 289 people watching and I only got 41 thumbs up. I don't think they like me today. It could have been that little hangry thing you had going on earlier. But that's with you, not with I wasn't them. with the people? Yes. Maybe they took it personally. Maybe they were like, you know what? She needs to treat Mike better. He's really a wonderful guy. He's so swell. You don't think that was it? I don't think so. <laughs> I just think they don't like me today. They can s prove that they do like me by giving me thumbs up, though. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> Show me your love. Oh, good. What we got here? Yeah, thumbs up. So very clean. Grateful very clean. Dead. Mike, you listen to VMP's Dead's box set? No, I have it though. No. God, that look it's just it's yes. on the Seven Arts label and it's just perfect. I don't, I'm not going to say this word, so what is it? Oxa Moxa. I don't think so. I think that's the original pressing. Oh, this one here. Remember to take a talent moment before God, these we start are just this. so nice. And the grassroots. What's funk? Grand funk. That's a cool cover. I like that bathing suit. It's cute. 
What do you think she's doing? She's going to jump start. Oh, is there like some sort of like symbolism going here? I don't know. With the Washington Monument? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. More Grateful Dead Kaleidoscope. Oh, yeah. Ducats. Uh, oh, that one ain't mine. That's the fifth super on the live stream that's celebrated. Thank you. Mike, are you anticipating the new Rhino American Beauty to beat the MoFi? Uh, <clears throat> God, I, guys, I feel so bad to be able to not answer that question for you, but, you know... I get this a lot. The, the, the Grateful Dead is not really my thing. I don't really care for the rock and roll noodling. I'm more of a jazz noodle fan. Jazz noodle. You know, as Angel calls it, baby jazz. I think the Dark Side of the Moon 50th 2XUV picture disc exhibition be worthwhile. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, it's so cool. And they don't really make that type of. Pink Floyd is not a band that makes a lot of novelty type of records. You don't see a lot of picture discs. You don't see a lot of colored vinyl. <laughs> so that that's really cool. And I don't think there's going to be... I don't think that's going to be something around forever. Oh, boy. We're just going to do a, a whatnot Grateful Have Dead first pressing auction. Have you seen the band Grateful Shred? They're better than the original band. That's sad. <laughs> Dang, only 64 people like me. That's it. <laughs> me getting agitated that I'm doing that? Nah, I don't care. <laughs> I was hoping for some more promo with dead stuff. Not go to heaven with water damage. Actually, that'll probably come out if you soak that a little bit. If you soak water on that. Is that just from another record? That's the other record. Uh, that's This jacket is probably fine, but if you yeah, see that, yeah. if you soak some water on there, let it sit for a little while. Interesting. That'll probably peel right off. Good to know, good to know. Well, I got to say, this is one hell of a solid Grateful Dead box. A good name for a mattress store would be Grateful Dead. Or a mattress to go. <laughs> what is this? I don't know. What is it? It's a booklet. Oh, man. I love it. Very cool. This Grateful Dead stuff is just in such great shape. Blown away. Oh, this is nice. Quiex. Gugan. No. What is it called? I'm just going to put a little... The adhesive stuff? That's uh, Undo. Undo. There we go. Sorry. Uh, Adam missed you today. It's on Quiex. Was he here? Yeah. Foos box. Ask Mike Tom Ford's favorite marquee moon. Oh, check that out. Oh, cute. I've never seen a soundtrack to that. I love that movie. I'm going to take that home. I was going to take it. No. No. You don't. No, no. Why? Because I need more records. You don't even. My thing is soundtracks, though. But it's, it's, it's. What do we get for five dollars? What do I get for a full metal jacket soundtrack? A pinch <laughs> on the booby? What do I get? Anything? Okay. Best of the Bobby Fuller 4. Ah, the fugs. Ah, the fugs. Okay, so we only got a few more minutes. How long have we been on? 49. So we got about 10 minutes. 10 minutos. Because and still only 60 pe six people like me. Because you'll notice right around the time that I told Angel we were getting out of here, regardless of what time it was, her mood like rapidly and cha changed. That's not true. 
Please go ahead and comment it below, you know, if you notice that. Holy cow. It was like next you level. Be in a bad mood, be quiet. But do you notice it? No. It was wild. I'm blinded by my own love. I don't see anything. Your old angriness. Let me see. That's a really hodgepodgey box. The year is 2060, and they are still releasing Grateful Dead box sets. Oh yeah. Oh man, be Grateful Dead. This is a good box. So do you remember this collection? What is it? Oh wait. It's not the collection I thought it was. Ooh, check it out. It's like mostly Frank Sinatra. Oh. Wow. Hey man, a clean copy of Sinatra at the Sands. Do your employees watch these videos? I think some of them do. Sometimes. Wow. Do we, do we come a lot of come across a lot of work records because we're in Arizona? Not really. I mean, it depends on how people take care of them. Ooh, I want. Why didn't you bring me a spicy chicken sandwich, Adam? Because you have kidney disease and aren't supposed to be having protein. That's why. Dang! You just threw me under the bus like that. Well, look Jeez. at that. Jeez. Angel could do this all night. Yeah, I could. That's true. I don't mind. <clears throat> Just get me a spicy chicken sandwich and I'm good. <laughs> this is a cool box. There he is. The voice. All Frank. So this could just be 10 minutes of Frank. I hope there's some... Uh, Oh my lord. That'll be in the trash pile. That is some early Peggy Lee. We've got the US copy on DECA. We got the UK footback on Brunswick. It's not Julie London. But your female vocalist for this live stream is going to be Peggy Lee. Peggy Lee, there's a U.S. capital in shrink. And here is the club copy in shrink. Not in shrink, in plastic. With a former Goodwill price tag on it. Mm -hmm. Put that off to the side till I get the adhesive off. So this Yes you will. So price clean resleeve. And throw away. Yes. <laughs> Kinda cool. It's in the original the sugar shrink. I mean, mm -hmm. it's Frankie, uh, Frankie Lane, and nobody cares. But oh man, look at all this Frank Sinatra. There might be a couple Franks in here I need. Yeah, that is a very nice clean all alone. Oh, I was excited until I saw the B said. Moonlight Sinatra. What's your favorite <laughs> Frank Sinatra record? Me? Yeah. I don't know. I like Frank Sinatra, but I never owned a record by him. Oh, I see how it is. You'll fight me for Full Metal Jacket, but you don't need any Frank in your collection, huh? Says only 68. Only 68 people like me today. My heart hurts. What do you think of these new microphones? Well, people seem to like them. Are we coming in loud and clear? Are we coming in loud and clear? <laughs> you know, I get read the riot act every single one of these videos. What? I'm going to show Hi. you the comments. No, I don't want to see the comments. They're mean to me. 
They're not mean to me. They're mostly mean to me. About what? I think the last one, the first comment from our last video was that was a complete waste of time. Or, like, I'm never going to get that time back. For what? Why'd they watch? I don't know. I think it was only a couple of minutes they were upset about losing. Dang. Yes, I can hear Mike loud and clear. Who? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, their brains are, I don't know. Oh, Adam, sorry. Yeah. He's got to post a note on this one. Looks clean. <laughs> well, the cover doesn't. I gotta see what this guy looks. Sense. Never experienced that, luckily. BG plus. Let's see. That's mono. There's stereo. <coughs> There's a mono promo with a former uh, radio station sheet peeled off of it. This is. Uh, not the most exciting box. I mean, if you like Frank, it's exciting. Yeah, I had a friend go through that. It was horrible. The kidney stones. Well, like, what do you, stop talking about kidney stones. Somebody else talked about it. Not me. I don't have anything to do with kidney stones. I'd, I think I'd rather have kidney stones at this point than what I have. I know, but let's, let's keep this nice and light, especially when we're going through all these amazing Frank Sinatra records. This one's still sealed. this to be a joyous record unboxing. Talking about kidney stones isn't joyous? No. Oh. What is this? Uh. Oh, that says, I have no clue. That's the phone number? There's an extra digit here. Or here. Yeah. You ever see a phone number that starts with a zero? Does Elvis still sell? Yes, because Adam comes in and buys everything. Yeah, Adam buys it all. And actually, he's recruiting customers for me. It's fantastic. He comes. He buys a bunch of Elvis. Actually, there's two local girls. I think there's two local girls that started this podcast, and they've got some success going with it. Uh, they were One of them was invited, <laughs> I think, to Graceland. Oh. And anyways, uh, sings Irish favorites, Joni. And one of them, uh, you know, Adam's been recruiting him. Oh, you got to go to the in group if you want Elvis. Of course, I don't know why you're doing that, Adam. You're a real nice guy. But uh, generally, if you're into a specific artist, and actually, Adam's only into like three artists, so it doesn't really behoove him to start bringing competition to the record store. But you know what? No one's going to come as much as Adam, too, so that's not that big a deal. But it, you know, it doesn't. Man, Joni's aged a little bit. When you get older, honey. No, I know, but I just I've never seen this record. This is This is on Platinum Communications Inc. <coughs> from West Palm Beach. Someone's gonna complain about me hiccuping now. But yeah, Adam uh Adam sends himself a lot of competition. So what are you selling Tracy Chapman's LPs for? We don't even have any of those. God man, you can't get those LPs. Before that. Before that Grammy's performance, Grammy performance, you couldn't get that record. How long have we been on? Uh, 58, 55. Oh, we're going to do one little miniature stack of Frank. Uh, Mike, can you take the audio from, wait, where'd it go? From this live stream and press it to a five LP box set on splatter vinyl. <laughs> All the questions, that's the one you read off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, I won't do it again. Yeah, make sure. Ow. This is a great record. Frank's. Ooh, 75 people like me now. It still hurts because there's 266 in here. Kick him again? Okay. 
Are you going to start trading the salt for likes? Is that what's happening here? Yeah. Thumbs up if you want me to hit Mike. What? <laughs> Would you stop it? We're not even going to be here. <laughs> Come on, let's see those thumbs up. Hurry. Hard album to get, actually. You don't Nobody see lots of... Nobody wants to hit you, honey. That's good. Frank Sinatra's greatest hits. Ooh. Which album, what Sinatra album do you recommend? All of his Capital stuff. His late 50s Capital stuff is a good place to start. Fantastic. <clears throat> We're doing pretty good. What do you think? Think about what? How many boxes did I pull from here? Two? Uh, one? Only one? Yeah, and then two were from here, weren't they? Yeah, my goal is to try to... Oh, man, it seems like such sledding getting this stuff out of, out of here. Well, we'll keep plugging away at it. But, uh, you know, if somebody wants to bring me a nice, amazing collection, I mean, I'm not going to say no. We've got a little mm -hmm. more space on the floor over there. You know what I mean? In the aisles. I mean, if it's real good, we can always fill up the dining room again. Huh? Or, you know, the living room. Yeah. Depends on the quality of collection. Good luck with that. It just depends good on the... Good luck with that. It depends on good the... Good luck with it that. It depends on the quality of the collection. Yeah. I mean, if somebody calls me up and says, uh, you know, hey, Mike, I got your phone number from a friend. Uh, do you buy records? Yes, I buy records. What do you have? Well, I don't really know what I got, but... Uh, I. I you buy jazz. Yeah, I'm gonna end the stream now. Do you buy jazz? Bye, yeah, I buy jazz. No, I'm not done. One next time. And then they might be like, "Well, my pops, he worked for Blue Note, and I just got all these Blue Note records everywhere, like boxes. Like one box says BL, you know. Are we getting BLP next UHQR? 1568? There's just a stack of them here. I mean, that's going in the living room. What? <laughs> I don't remember now. UHQR uh, what? Are we getting a who's next UHQR? Who keeps asking about these? There's no, been no Q, no. Q, who announced. That'd be nice though, huh? Yeah. The who? We All right, guys. Thumbs up. Until next time. Bye. You're going to do that lot. You're going to do that. You're going to film a video. The X thingy? Are you going to film the, the, uh,